Alrighty, let's go with this. Back to the basics. It's two bouncing balls. There's no sounds. I'm gonna go one by one here. You are going for the medium one. Funny enough, I'm always, <laughs> I don't know why, I'm always looking at things left to right. So technically, I can just do this. I know this is super weird. I'm so used to left to right for bouncing balls. So the main thing that I'm seeing here is that what I would do is in your graph editor, really focus on the, the up and down translation so that you have your nice bouncy arcs. And then on your translate where your ball goes left to right, really just keep it super simple where it comes through a nice and maybe a bit overshooting coming back with a roll and roll back. But right now, the feeling that I have is that there are some hiccupy moments as it goes forward, as if you're in your graph, you have something, you know, something like that versus a nice smooth curve that comes to nice flat movement. So maybe, I wonder if you want to, if you should send me your, your Maya file, I can take a look at it and I can point out what might work better just for that, for that bouncing ball. Unless, unless it makes sense. Just look, look in your graph editor before you translate that. It doesn't have too many keys so that you don't have moments where things are just kind of shifting. It needs to be basically you have one key, one key. You can flatten this and play with the, with the tangent or maybe a key here to get there. And then from here to here, really have a slow ease in to that stop. That's the main thing that I'm seeing. And also in your, in your ups and downs, every now and then it feels like it pop, pop, pops a bit up and down. So same thing you would have your, your TY, you would have your keys where you have a key here, key here, key here for your apex and your impact. And then you play with the, with the tangents to really give this a nice acceleration into a drop, but you might have to have a key like here and here to give it some hang time and then drop. But let me know how familiar you are with the graph editor and how comfortable you are. And maybe it would be easier if you send me the Maya file and I'll show you a before and after or some tips there. Also, let's just keep it to the although it's not too bad i feel like there's a little bit of sliding in that roll but it's not too shabby i think i would really concentrate on the translate first before we go into the rotations now this is the medium one for the heavy one i think it's the same thing there are a couple of things where it feels like it goes only a certain amount which is fine because it's heavy it wouldn't go too far unless it's being shot out but there's a feeling of bounce bounce and then suddenly accelerating further this way so bounce, bounce, whoa, and it suddenly goes forward. So again, in your translate, it feels like you're doing this and whoa, going forward versus just a small translate with a long easing in. And it feels like we are, we could, uh, mm, shoom. to me, the main thing is that it just bounces too high where I would go from here. I mean, you can start maybe a bit lower and then you go, bam. And that might be too much of a spacing. I would add one more in there. Where this feels a bit too much. It's like it's a sudden pop. And after that, it might go only this high. And then the next one. Let's see. What's your next one? Weird. It doesn't hit the ground. So make sure it hits the ground. But I would do one that really goes only this high. And the next one maybe only this high for you. So really getting that feeling of the heaviness. Just kind of. Pushing that a bit more. Sure, if you got a bowling ball that high, it might bounce up the side, but I would just really push the idea of you got your medium one, then you got your, your really heavy one. And then we talked about a the beach volleyball. This one is kind of. I don't know if that's a. It still feels like a medium one. And you still have moments where it doesn't hit the ground. And the same issues as before, where some of the the up and downs are just like a bit instead of the smoothness of it you have too many keys where things just kind of pop same thing with your left to right where every now and then it's kind of shoots forward and at the end that's why i would stay away from rotations just for now because you have your rotations going back for a rollback which is technically nice but it doesn't translate with it so now it feels like it just rotates in place so i would just turn off the textures let's keep this simple and just go for the translates but for this to really go for a light, I would go for a bigger, um, you know, if you have your basketball and then you got your, your bowling ball. I don't think I got the sizes right here. And then you got a bigger beach ball, maybe not that big. And the beach ball will be timing wise more like. Boom. 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 Like really light, airy 
beach ball to really push the contrast between light, medium, and heavy. All right. Hope that makes sense. Uh, email me. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always send me the Maya file if you want to as well. Let's uh, talk about this and let's clear up any potential uh, issues you have, confusions or anything. Let me know how you are. Again, like the graph fitted and the curves, if any of that makes sense. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.